COVID-19 epidemic has underlined the importance of having an adequate supply of appropriate personal protective equipment and N95 masks available for our healthcare workers. Based on the shortage that has been experienced globally, the CDC and the WHO have come up with recommendations for extended use of the N95 masks. They have allowed decontamination and reuse. For sterilizing the N95 mask, there are various techniques available. Number one is the plasma sterilization where hydrogen peroxide is used. But this is not useful for the mask that we get in India because of a chemical content in the mask. The other one is the hot air oven, which is time consuming. On long term re-sterilization, status of the mask is unknown. The other one is available sterilization method that is available is ethylene oxide but it cannot be used for N95 masks. Therefore, the only method that is available to us is use of ultraviolet rays. To use the UVGI method, we needed to construct and get innovative. For this purpose, we looked at building a wooden closet inside a room which was right outside our CSSD. The closet measures 5 feet by 2 feet by 6 feet. It has got incorporated the UVC tube lights which have a wavelength of 254 nanometers. It has got five lines which have been strung inside the closet. Each line is capable of holding up to 12 to 15 masks at a time for sterilization, meaning a total capacity of almost 70 to 75 masks per cycle. Incorporated into the closet is a thermometer and a humidity indicator. Once the masks have been loaded into the closet, the closet door is closed, we exit the room. The controls for the closet are on the outer side of the room. The cycle is started. It is a total cycle of 8 minutes that is required for the purpose of decontamination. At the end of the decontamination cycle, the room can be entered, the closet door open and the decontaminated mask can then be redistributed to the original owners. To understand the mask efficiency after it has undergone a decontamination process, we would look for the fit, the filtration efficiency and the bio load that the mask may be carrying. We have not had any concerns with the fit of the mask post the decontamination process using the UVGI. The bio load has been tested by culturing the inner and outer layers of the mask which have shown no growth. In addition to that, a known organism with a known quantity was also put in during the 8 minute cycle and it has shown a log reduction of more than six. In addition to this, the mask has been sent to a government approved laboratory for testing after undergoing the decontamination process of 10 cycles. The breathability, filtration efficiency has been shown to be adequate. It has passed the test and it can be reused. All in all, the UVGI technology is easy. It is cost effective and it allows for a large number of masks to be decontaminated in a cycle which lasts just about eight minutes. Thank you.